Hey everybody, and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I am gonna take you on a tour of my April garden. And if you'd like to see what's growing in my April garden, stay tuned. Over in this pot, my little zinnias are coming up. In the orchard, can you guys see the orchard? I hope I'm not moving too fast. The orchard is doing semi-okay. I'm having a water issue that I'm trying to work out. Um, and that's why my watering has not been the best. Even though we've been getting rain, I have not been able to capture enough rain in my water barrels. So I'm working on that. Um, unfortunately, and I, I wish I really could get a straight answer and some true understanding, but uh, my house only came with one water spigot. So that water spigot is up near the front of the house and I'm using a 250 foot hose in order to water all of this. And that is not easy to do. I have not put in the irrigation yet. I am trying to get a plumber to come out. I've spoken to him a couple times, but because we have been getting some sporadic um, weather uh, changes, he hasn't been able to come out. But hopefully this weekend uh, I can get a hold of him and we can get this rocking and rolling because I need a water source in the backyard because I don't have one and I can't keep trying to drag buckets and everything back here because this just doesn't work. It's not gonna work. But so th this is the orchard area. My garlic and onions are coming up. Everything again needs water. I also put some clover. I put two different types of clover. But what I found is purslane found its way into my orchard. So I'm, I've been pulling out purslane. This is my peach. I have lost some peaches. Um, that's normal when you're growing fruit trees, but you have to make sure that you are watering and, watering and feeding. And that has been a bit of an issue um, in the garden. I did feed everything, but I'm getting uh, some yellowing of leaves. So I'm going to have to put some different fertilizer on my plants, on my trees. But as you can see here, I'm getting um, my onions and garlic are growing as well as, well as another good grief. Y'all know what that is, right? Gooseberry. So I'm gonna have to dig that out <laughs> and I think this might be is that a comfrey I'm gonna let that get a little bit bigger before I take that out and then of course clover 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 is a very good very very good for your garden in this container also I put clover but this is where I'm finding a lot of the um, purslane and this is what purslane looks like this is what you can eat it's good for salads good for juicing and that's purslane and I'm having to pull it out and put it in other places because I don't want it in here and I don't want to pull out my um, my clover but when it gets large enough for me to pull it out without too much hesitation I go ahead on and take it out because I, I don't want it over here and of course mm, gooseberry that's got to come the out. The orchard itself is looking relatively good it, it's putting on growth I'm not seeing any um, pest pressure that I can tell. So it's over here good. on this side of the garden, I have of course been adding more buckets. I ran out, so I'm gonna go back by and see if they have any more. I didn't see any today, so I, I may take a run tomorrow to see. But I've had this windmill. I've been in love with windmills for years. Windmill, rocks, frogs, gorillas, all kinds of stuff, y'all. <laughs> and I've been pulling out all of my, my things that I've been hoarding for a while and the windmill is one of them so that that came out I've had that for a couple of years now so that I put it together and it's found a home but over here nothing is in this bucket I just filled that bucket up so I'm, I'm gonna be planting that up but I found these two stowaways this one was in one of my tree pots and I don't know how other than compost it got there so I dug it up and put it over here late last night but this little stowaway was in the front yard excuse me y'all flies are trying to get me in the face um, this was in the front yard so I dug him up and I uh, planted it with borage as well as 
um, onions. So these are two tomatoes. The only tomatoes I've had in my garden have been San Marzano and Roma. So I'm hoping that that's what these are because that is what I'd like in the garden. My other tree, this is my nectarine tree, looking really fabulous. And I, I've got to get that, um, that trellis up so I can espalier these trees. Um, it used to have fruit on it, but it did lose its fruit. But I'm hopeful because, sorry about that. I'm hopeful because if it gets fruit this year and it only had one, then it's possible. Oh, these bugs are trying to get me, y'all. Sorry. It's possible that next year it will produce more and more. And of course, underplanted it. It has a sucker, and I'm probably going to have to take that out. Um, but I was trying to see if. Um, it had the same leaf structure and it looks kind of sorta like it does. That looks like it, it could very well possibly be a nectarine. So I underplanted that again with comfrey as well as um, garlic. So that's what's in that pot. Now over in these pots, these are um, peppers and tomatoes. I have a yellow stuff, stuffing pepper with of course onions. I have San Marzano's and those are coming up, yes! As well as onions. Over here I have a red jalapeno, which I don't see. And of course, onions. And of course, that right there. More and look more Look at though. Gary, y'all. Remember Gary? He was looking all sad. Look at, look at his remnants. That's what came back from North Texas. And that's what popped up in South Texas. Now it looks like Gary has a little bit of pest pressure. Gotta figure out what's going on with Gary. But look at Gary looking all big and pretty. But look at what's behind Gary. What? That is a gooseberry. What in tarnation? Go if you have a gooseberry plant, you will always have gooseberries in your garden coming up everywhere. So I'm going to dig that out. Over here, all I have are onions. I did plant some... Um, shishito peppers i don't see anything out of there over here i planted that italian um, pepperoni pepper i think is what it's called and onions only thing coming up are onions over here are my beautiful moringa and look at that stowaway that is a gooseberry well shut my mouth and i said mouth y'all not mouth mouth get out of here with that so i'm gonna have to dig him out but my moringa Looking a little shady boots. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm holding my holding my, my phone with my hands. But I have Moringa. One, two, three, four. And my sister has already called and asked me, do you have any Moringa? I need Moringa. So, yeah. And I think this is the pecan. This piece died off. And then that has been springing up. So we'll see what's going on and there. last, but certainly not least, I have this end of the garden. And if you have stayed this long with me, Thank you so much for hanging in there. There is a lot going on and I still have some things I'm going to continue to sow. So with that being said, here is my LSU fig and I do have a comfrey. I did repot that comfrey from someplace else and it is beginning to really show out. It's looking really good because it was really tiny or it was smaller. I should say not really tiny, but it was smaller and now it's it's standing up nice and strong and it has already flowered. And you can see it has flowers. This fig has no figs on it. Or does it? Oh, shut my mouth. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Oh, I got fig, y'all. I got a fig. Oh, man. Do I have another one? Do I have another one? Y'all, look at that. I have a fig. Can you see it? Oh, exciting. I might get some figs on this baby. And this is my LSU purple. Now, in these buckets, I don't have anything yet besides onions, but I put some Turkish eggplant in here. And in this one, oh, I hope y'all saw that. Turkish eggplant, I have got to figure out how to, how to do this with one hand. And this one is the Sweet 100. And I think those seeds were really, really old. So I went ahead and picked up a red small cherry tomato just for salads and stuff. Because um, some of my family members, they, they like that. I don't particularly put tomatoes on my salad. But I don't know. I might this year. We'll see. They make your, your, your joints hurt. At least they do for me. Um, they cause a lot of inflammation in my body. So I don't, I don't fool with them like that. But tomatoes are looking um, like nothing there. <laughs> 
So we'll see how that goes. But the onions are looking great. Ah, purse lane. Going to be the bane of my existence this year. This is my Chicago Hardy fig right here. And I don't think this fig has ever given me any fruit. Or, and I'm just, oh, I'm so mad at it. Because it's been acting like a real donkey. I don't understand. I'm looking and I don't see any fruit on here. We'll see. I had a talk with it. So maybe it'll it'll do right. But we'll see. It's filling out quite nicely. I also put a comfrey in it. And that is starting to look real strong. So I am going to have to give a piece of comfrey to my sister. So yeah, there's that. And in these pots over here, the onions look good. The Thai purple eggplant have not shown its face. The black beauty eggplant has not shown its face. The uh, dinosaur kale has not shown its face. It has, I believe, a carrot in there. And I don't remember what happened. How did that lone little carrot seed get in there? I don't know. In this container, what? <sighs> I have a gooseberry. Can y'all see that? That's a gooseberry. Woo! This is supposed to be a Roman tomato pot, but I have a gooseberry over there that's going to come out. And I have either an onion or a garlic. I think this is garlic. So we shall see. And I also have onions that I planted in here recently. And they're beginning to show their beautiful faces. So here is the asparagus pot. that I put in here a couple of years ago. It's looking really good. And it is seeding. I don't know if you all can see. Let me see if I can get in there. Hold on one second. We're gonna go into the asparagus bush. Let's see, I'm trying to get this. There we go. That is an asparagus seed or a seed pot. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna dump it inside the pot. And I have a feeling that if the birds have not found that yet, that I'm gonna have little asparagus is popping up either in the back, back there, or around here somewhere i'm gonna look for asparagus in the coming the coming year because it's got seeds on it and i'm not harvesting it this year i'm going to harvest off of this next year but if you can see those little balls those little green balls those are all the seeds and as they turn red i just grab them and dump them inside of the pot now this one isn't all the way red but i'm gonna take it off anyway and I'm going to dump it inside the pot. There we go. Last Asparagus. but not least, and I did say that a few moments ago, the potatoes that I planted a few weeks ago. Look at those beautiful spots popping up. Look at there. Coming up right there. Hey, well, something's coming up right there. I hope it's a potato. Potato, potato, potato. Looks like something's popping up right there. Potato, potatoes. And something is coming up right here. And I don't know what that is. That does not that is not a potato. I don't know what I put in here. Oh, you know what I did, y'all? I put corn in here. I put strawberry corn in here. So I put strawberry corn in this one and I put sweet corn in the other two. Look at me. I forgot. See, that's why you have to write stuff on tags. <laughs> so that's corn that's corn and that's corn and then that's potatoes Ooh, i'm excited y'all i was starting to worry that i was not going to have a spring or summer garden and now i'm starting to feel pretty this good about right it. here i have i put in here loofah i put in bottle gourd i put in here um mexican sour gherkins i put in here um moose melons i put in here let's see i can't even read my handwriting i put lemon cucumber and i put in here something else that i cannot read oh i know i put a benny something watermelon so this is the watermelon and i think those are bush but i'm not sure i think that's grass did i i didn't put i didn't put anything else yeah that that shouldn't be here. I think this is a weed. We're going to take that out. No free motors. All right, so we took that out. Um but yes, that those are melons and back here, I believe that is 
one of the gourds and over here I'm hoping these are my moose melons and or my sour gherkin and I think this is a weed because I know I didn't put no corn over here y'all that don't look like I'm gonna take that out and over here I think that is a cucumber that I believe is my lemon cucumber whoop, whoop. yo look I am getting food Ooh, I'm so excited because I was so worried I was so so worried y'all don't understand the, the I was I'm fr I was frantic saying that my seeds weren't popping up I'm not gonna have any food and look look at what well I'm gonna say it because I I believe in a higher power. Look at God. And I really hope that I am not offending anybody. And if I am, you have the right to believe in whomever you choose to believe in. Everybody should have the right to worship who they choose. And no one should be ostracized for that. So right here, look at God. Look. Because I have just been throwing things out here. I have not been paying attention to whether or not it needs cold stratification. It needs soaking. It needs scratching. I just been throwing stuff outside in the garden. Look, I am starting to get food. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, okay we are gonna eat i'm praying this we're gonna pot eat right here look at that this is a mystery that is i believe some form of melon i think cantaloupe and i believe i said that to you all before but so what i did is i sewed cantaloupe in here on purpose because i thought that was cantaloupe so i put cantaloupe and I put Korean melon. And I'm putting these things over in here so that they can grow up on the cattle panel. And I do believe that I may have, um, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what that is right there. I'm gonna leave it because I'm not quite sure what it is. I thought it was a, um, not a moonflower, but a morning glory, but that's not how a morning glory looks. So I'm gonna leave that there and see what happens. I've got something popping up here. But yes, I planted in here cantaloupe and Korean melon. That's all I planted in here because I like sweet, sweet cantaloupe. So that's about it for me today. In this video right here, because I'm sure it is quite long enough and I want to thank you all very much for joining me in my garden today. And I want to say thank you very much for all of your comments all of your support you coming each and every week when i forget what day of the week it is and i post a video when i'm not due to post a video I, i'm sure you all have noticed <laughs> i have been losing track of days lo just losing sleep you know hurting myself trying to get this garden put together but uh i'm i'm standing upright i, I still do have some pain i want to say thank you all for your kindness uh, and i do appreciate it so i hope to see you all again either in the kitchen or the garden real soon. Bye for now.